Hello everyone, today we will review this Gigabit Optical Fiber Media Converter from Lazada that comes with a 50 meter fiber cable that can be used outdoors and a 20 meter one. So I bought this because I want to extend my home network to another house and I do not want to use a cable or a category 6 or 5 Ethernet cable. So again, here are the specs if you want to read that I'm not sure if they are accurate. And as you can see, it's already out of stock as of this uh, editing of the video. So again, they're not that expensive, but still, they are the best one instead of using a outdoor Ethernet cable. So let's go to the unboxing. And this is only a regular plastic that it does not come with a box. And fiber is a fragile one, but they did not bother to box it so here is a note of what I ordered ignore the other one the splitter it's for the router yeah it's a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter uh, DC jack splitter so again here is the uh, fiber cable it can be used for outdoors just similar to the one that the converged will did and globe uses when they uh, install your fiber to your house so this is the box of the uh, fiber converter pair and as you can see there are some dents on it but let's hope that the product is still okay so as you can see this is the uh, DC power supply of the products looks cheap it does not even have any uh, UL uh, marks or you know standards so I assume that these are cheap and it may not last that long so here is the product or the fiber converter in a anti-static plastic or bag and as you can see it looks metal and it is metal you can even uh, use magnet on it there is a warranty sticker but it does not it's not accurate on when i purchased it so again here is it so the tx is where you plug in the fiber cable so uh, we will uh, check that later so to use this you need the a and b pair so if one of them is broken you cannot use the product at all and there's the leaflet you may want to read the leaflet when you receive the product okay so let's read it on screen and here are the contents of that and even on how to connect it so to use this you just plug and play the device and your ethernet cable and hope that everything will go okay Oh, and this is the other one, the 20 meter cable with the green connector. So both of them will work on the product. It's an SC APC cable or connector. And here is the application it's just plug and play you just uh, need to check if they will work after unboxing it so you can return it to the seller if they don't work and here is the one that we can uh, demonstrate it's working the lights are working the 1000 uh, LED or the LED and the 1000 text is working so to test this I am doing a iperf 3 test with my OpenWRT router so the transfer is the uh, megabytes and the bandwidth should be the megabits so this is a 1000 megabit connection and it seems it's really that okay 
And now we will test the uh, Converge patch cable and the Globe patch cable. This is for the Globe patch cable. As you can see, it still works on this product. So let's test again with the iPerf 3 on my OpenWRT router. And on my PC or laptop, we can try the iPerf test now. Pay attention to the uh, megabyte transfer rate and the bit rate as they will tell your uh, cable speed and the transfer. So by 53 megabytes per second is for 61 megabits of transfer rate. They didn't reach 1000 megabit but this is still okay. It could be my router that cannot handle it. This is for the Converge uh, cable, patch cable. Same test, iPerf 3. And almost uh, the similar result. The transfer rate is 53 megabytes and the bit rate is for 39 megabits. So my router is only a uh, new Wi-Fi 3D2, so it may not be capable of using the gigabit. So this is the uh, cable connector by the way, uh, they are using the 5.5 by 2.5. The one on the left is the 5.5 by uh, 2.1 which will not fit on the connector. So this is the teardown of the unit, you can see there is a capacitor of the power jack it is rated for 10 volts so you should not plug in 12 volts power supply on this unit here's the back and the uh, chip power supply of the unit so again this unit has a simple and a cheap power supply that may not last long and may cause problems so I suggest that you buy a genuine or a true rated 5 volts 2 amps power supply with the DC jack or DC barrel connector of 5.5 by 2.5 millimeters. And that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you find this useful.